everybody, it's Mr. Ben. We're getting ready to get things started. We'll uh, set our little fan timer here for three minutes just to give everybody a chance to get logged on there. If you're watching the video later, feel free to skip the next three minutes. So when the sand goes from the top to the bottom, we'll get started on the show. All right, well, I'm going to make a little page for anybody who's in the building. If they want to check it out, so you might hear my voice in the background. Let's see. <laughs> Hello everybody, it's Mr. Ben. If you are available and you'd like to check out uh, our little show, we're going to be going live on the BOA Facebook page. I hope to see you there. Bye. Oh, my nose is so itchy. Oh, man. Here we go. I have so much pressure. Oh, yeah. Did you know uh, face. I went and bought... Sudafed, you know, the good stuff from the pharmacy oh, that they you, oh. make you sign and show ID. Feeling better. That's good. That's good. All right. I think I'm planned out for today, everybody. I'm so excited. We got a lot of good, a lot of fun stuff coming up, coming up. Let me see. Well, I'll look and see if anybody's on yet. Oh, four people are on already. Oh, my goodness. Make sure you uh, write in those comments. Say hello. Uh oh, now it's only three. I offended somebody. Oh no, maybe they got a better offer. I don't know. But uh, yeah, whoever you, my, my three friends that are on, feel free to write in some comments. I'll, uh, I'll make some small talk with you while we're waiting. But uh, let's see, I think it's safe. I'm pretty far away from everybody now, so I'm gonna get rid of my face underwear. That's what we call it at the Decker house. But uh, Mikey boy, my son, he, uh, he chews holes in his. So I, we're going to get like a, a chain mail version, so yeah, but it'll be sparking underneath. But uh, I'm going to put my, I'll put my mask poking out here so I remember it. It distracts me when it's hanging and swinging around like that. I get distracted very easily, if you couldn't tell. I got my new trays. I have Invisalign, not a sponsor yet, but I got my new trays today. And they're kind of like, in the back, so I don't know, something with the... Oof, and it's pinching on in my inner cheek meat. So uh, I know, first world problems getting pinched cheek meat. But uh, that's something I think you can get that. Gordon Ramsay makes a good pinched cheek meat uh, dish with uh, like shaved truffles or something. So there we go. But uh, let me see. Oh my goodness, it's almost time. It's almost time. Here we go. And there we go. All right, so all the sand went from the top to the bottom. All right, I hope you got a chance to get logged on. And if not, I guess you wouldn't be hearing me now unless you're uh, uh, watching the video later. So there we go. All right, uh, producer Miss Marissa is not here at the moment. But the, oh, we got Nurse Riley stepping Step up in. to the plate. There we go. <laughs> so all right, let me see. I'll, I'll get started. Oh, there comes Miss Marissa. Good deal. All right. So we were just uh, getting started, Miss Marissa. I moved the uh, the timer out of the way, so we were all set to roll. So I'll start out with. Uh, let me see if I can remember uh, the theme song. Let's see. Oh, it's that time of day. It's time to play. Let's shout hooray! It's fun with Mr. Ben. There we go. We got it. We got it. So there we go. So there's our little theme song. If you like it, uh, leave a comment. Oh, we want to get those comments. Who's here today? So let us know who's here. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Oh, but I'll sing hello to you. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning to my friends. And how do you do? I'm feeling a little bit extra today. Ooh, mama. I know. <laughs> good thing I get up before my wife. She's not a morning person. She's not. I don't know. I don't know what kind of person I am. I'm still working that one out. But there we go. Uh, so we said hello. We did the theme song. Um, so I think, well, what do we got to do? Uh, check, check the board? I think we'll do that. So let's see. Number one, uh, with one dot, O-N-E, we got the black cherries. I know. There we go. I, every time uh, I say that, everybody hits their forehead. I don't know. But that, no, that's a song. We're going to be singing a song here, and uh, uh, a little behind the, the, uh, the music here. Miss Bruce was like, I don't know how to draw, I don't know how to draw a reindeer. And I was like, I'm trying, look at that. Isn't that the most beautiful looking reindeer you've ever seen in your life? I think it's, uh, it's mwah, chef's kiss. I think it looks great. So there we go. So we're going to sing a little Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Uh, number two, with two dots, we're going to get pumped. 
And we've got our special guest, Nurse Riley. She's going to be hosting today, so you don't need to uh, see me floundering on my own for that part. And for number three, one, two, three, with three dots. Now this part, I had the, I, I uh, Monday night. I was in bed, and I was I was I couldn't sleep because I my brain was actually working. Every once in a while, my brain works, and I had an idea, and I was like, Ooh, what if we like told a story? I'll make up the story, but I need your help. So what we're going to do in the comments write down some words and I'm gonna take those words and we're gonna to try to turn it into a story so you can write uh, you could write nouns if you know what a noun is that's a person a place or a thing so you could uh, you could write down uh, I don't know Donald Trump no, let's not get into we won't do that one uh, but no if there's anything you could write down a hot dog it could be uh, a place so you could write down uh, Walmart any anything you want to write down it could be so it could be a person place or a thing or a verb. So a verb is an action word. So like something that you do, like walk, uh, walking, run, running, uh, uh, jump, anything like that that you can do with your body. That could be like a verb, uh, or really any other kind of word. It could be uh, uh, you know an emotion, joy, happy, whatever. As long as it's uh, it's not the word snow. Don't write in snow because I don't like snow. Uh, but if you if you insist, I'll do snow. So write in your words in the comments, and I'm going to hopefully take those words and I'm going to make up a story. We'll see if my brain is working later in the show. But there we go. Um, so, uh, oh, we'll do our, our countdown. So our Christmas countdown. 17 more days. Oh, so get ready to count with me. So we'll start up here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I'm going to snap this little one off here. So that was 18. 18, take away one, is 17 days. So we got, you got to get on that list. Get on that good list. So start doing your, your, your nice things now. You know, you should have been doing it all along, to be fair. But if, uh, if you had to wait. Oh, well. What? The lights turn on. <laughs> oh, oh, I, I didn't know if that was part of the, uh, a, a cue or something. Oh, we're just, uh, we're, st we're producing on the fly. There we go. So there's our, uh, our thing there. And, uh, oh, you know what? I have, for sign language, it's blank because I, uh, I roped in a special guest to help us. So that, since she's going to be coming up, I'm going to put my, uh, my mask back on. We've got uh, Miss Kristen. She's going to show us some sign language. Yay! All right. Hi, friends. Oh, there we go. So I figured that we would learn some sign language to go along with number one. We're going to sing Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer today. So I'm going to show you some signs that you can maybe sign with Mr. Ben when you sing along. Well, that's a good idea. Okay? I'm going to take my mask off so friends can oh, see for I will them. back up a little bit then. So we're going to use our nose right here. We're going to cross our fingers to make the R. So some of you might know that sign. And you got to put it to your nose, and that's red nose. I do that. I cross my fingers when I'm um, talking to my wife, if I want to tell a little <laughs> fiblet. Yep. Uh, so red nose. you got to all practice that, and you're going to tap your nose. So the call name for Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer is red nose. Okay? So it goes down like that. But for reindeer, I'll put my mask back on so you guys can follow me. Reindeer. Oh, cool. And my one finger doesn't go down all the way, but your fingers should go down. I'll sneak that in Rain so here. I can do it too. Okay. All right. So we take our finger. Does it matter which hand we use? It, you're supposed to use your dominant hand. Oh, okay. So. There we go. So I'm going to use my red. right hand. Red We're going to tap. Nose. Red? Red nose. Oh, wait. Did we do a swoop thing? Was That's that just call me. Oh, so, like, okay. When, you don't want to do this anymore. Oh, okay. But this is just red, red nose. Okay. Red nose. Red nose. Reindeer. Reindeer. This is oh. Rudolph. Oh, okay. So red nose, <laughs> reindeer. Oh my! Okay. This is a, this is getting interesting. Tricky, right? <laughs> this will get you in at the club too, right? You, you <laughs> yeah. Go, like, yeah, yeah. And they let you right in. <laughs> yes, they did. Oh, they're not open right now. <laughs> okay. Cool. Yeah. Well, that's so great. So we let's try try it one more time, just so okay. I don't. Okay. So we do like this. Red so nose. red nose. Reindeer. All right. Well, thank you, Miss. Oh. That was so great to show us some sign language of the day. Fantastic, fantastic. Hi, friends. <laughs> there we go. All right. So, oh my goodness, that was great. So we did our sign language. Oh, so now I'm gonna pop this little uh, beauty off here. Usually my glasses go flying when I do that too. Uh, oh, but you know what? Oh, we've got some uh, uh, some mail to check out. 
Let me see what's in our mailbox. I was so excited. <gasps> We've got a lot of mail today. Oh my gosh. Oh, but, oh wait, you know, before we do the mail, I'll do the question of the day. That way you can write in your answers and we'll talk about it after we show our mail. So the question of the day, which we totally got ready uh, ahead of time. Um, let me see. <laughs> oh, here we go. I'm going to read the question of the day. Let me, uh, let me, oh, you know what? Yesterday, we had our, our friend, uh, Miss Alyssa. She showed us a sweater. So the question of the day is, do you like to wear sweaters? How about that? Do you like to wear sweaters? I, I don't like to wear sweaters. I, I, I sweat too much in them. Do you like to wear cozy sweaters? Uh, if you do or don't, let us know. Do you have a favorite sweater? You could tell us about your favorite sweater. Or maybe uh, mom, dad, auntie, uncle, grandma, grandpa, maybe they make you wear a sweater like for a picture or something. You don't like it. It's itchy. Let us know if you have a funny sweater story. So there we go, our question of the day. But let me see what we have in the mailbox. Oh my goodness, we have so much mail. And if you want to send mail, don't, for, uh, don't forget, you can send it up to the front desk. You can send anything you want, a picture. Uh, you, can, uh, you can ask me a question. If you have any ideas for the show, send them all in. Let's see. Oh my goodness. This one says, to Mr. Ben from Jerome. Hi, Jerome, in room four. Oh my goodness, let's see what he said. I, I, I think, do I owe him money? I, maybe that's what this is about. Let me see. It says, oh, this is good. Oh, oh, let me put down the envelope. It says, what are you doing for Christmas? Oh, my goodness. What are you doing for Christmas? That's a good idea. Oh, my goodness. Jerome, this is something you might not know about me. I, uh, I, I live like one day at a time. I don't know what I'm doing for dinner tonight, let alone what I'm doing for Christmas. But uh, No, actually, you know what? Uh, my family, uh, uh, we go to church. So some families might go to church. Some families don't. But uh, we go to church on Sunday morning. And we go, for some reason, years ago, they decided to go at 7 o'clock in the morning. I don't know why. But we go very, very early. Yeah, try to get three kids ready and a wife ready. Uh, and be in Medina at 7 30 or 7 in the morning but uh, we do that and then uh, we'll probably get together with uh, 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 the wife's parents and sister and stuff like that I think we're having Christmas at my house but uh, I know this year a lot of folks are having a lot smaller Christmases you might only spend Christmas with just your family and that's okay too but uh, we we have a lot of love for everybody who's even if they're not with us they're uh, still with us inside in the heart here we go so good question, good question. Let me see. Oh, I got another one here. To Mr. Ben from Devin in room four. Devin. I'll read Devin's. Let's see. We got Devin's here. This is going to be good. Let me see. It says, uh, for Christmas, I want a Batman set. I am six. Well, you know what? I'm not Santa, but I actually, I do, I, I know Santa. I do, you know. Well, as soon as you become a parent, you get to know Santa. And uh, I'll put in a good word for you, Devin. I'll put in a, I'll put in a word with the, with the big man. Uh, so there we go. I look a little like a young Santa. I got the beard, you know. But there we go. Ah, a Batman set. That sounds cool. Uh, let me see. Oh, this one says, uh, to Mr. Ben from... Oh, is that a, from Amani? Oh, my goodness. You kids have very good penmanship. You write very neatly. That's good. When you start signing checks, you know, you got to be able to uh, write, write your name and all that. Let me see. Uh, oh, here we go. Let's see. Uh, uh, what I, uh, ooh, oh, what is your favorite food? Oh, so you wanted to know what is my favorite food? And what is, oh, what? Oh, I want an Xbox and a PS4. Oh, I, I don't know uh, the, about video games. Is that what those are, video games? I, I had an Atari. That was fun. I had a regular Nintendo. I used to play uh, uh, Kirby's Adventure. That was a good one. But that's as far as I got. My, I, my thumbs don't work for video games. And uh, oh, what is your favorite food? That was, oh, you know, don't get me started. I think probably... Uh, bacon. I don't think I've ever had enough bacon. I could oh, I, I could eat bacon all day long, but I better not. But uh, oh, and uh, does that say? Uh, does it say um, a a mouse? 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 Question, Question mark? mark? Are you asking if that's a mouse? It 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 could be a very large mouse. It has a very little tail. But if you're asking mouse, absolutely mouse. Yes, that's the answer. Absolutely mouse. 
All right, and let me see. Ooh, this one. Was this from Spider Man? This has got like this. Uh, this one looks dangerous. It's moving. I don't know if there's something alive in there or what's going on. Let me see. Oh, there's a couple in here. Here we go. Let me see. I'm gonna put. I'll put that one up in the pocket there, so that one's on deck. Let's see. What does this one say? Oh, so this was a note to me. Mr. Bennett said, "Oh, an Xbox." Oh, wait. Is that a, like me? Is that like me doing the show on there? And PS5. There we go. You folks, uh, you're into the video games. I don't know. I don't know how to play video games. But uh, there's a really cool picture. Thank you very much. I didn't see a name on there, so whoever was that, Mr. Tony, did you make that? I'm not sure who made, who drew that. In the comments, if it was you, write and tell me that you made that cool picture. And then I need you to come down and sign it, because I, I, I always want to know who has their pictures here. Oh my goodness, there's another picture here. Oh, that's cool. Oh, is that is that Xbox too? You guys really like Xbox. Uh, is this? Are they a sponsor? We're getting an Xbox <laughs> sponsor. But that's a. Is that a person with a beautiful dress on? And they're, uh, that's cool, 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 cool. But no names on them. I need names. I need to know. I need to know who to thank. But thank you so much for all the hot dogs that sent in mail. And uh, keep them coming. Keep them coming. Flood the bit. we got lots of room in this thing. So uh, let us know. Uh, oh, we've got some comments. We have lots of comments. Oh, good, 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 good. Uh, first of all, Room 4 has been working very hard on their writing. Yay! I can tell. <laughs> it's very good writing. Oh, my goodness. And the mouse, it's a mouse made out of her mouse on the computer. Oh! Oh, what is that? Like a homonym? Or what is that? I don't know what you... Oh, now I get it! Oh. So it's like uh, the mouse, the animal. Oh, and you click on it, and a little tail. Wow. See, a lot of these things go right over my head. Thank you for explaining. And for the question of the day, yes. sweaters. sweaters. We have mostly yeses. We have Ty, Nathan, Malik, Miss Sam likes fuzzy ones. She would. Miss Lizette and Miss Brianna. They all like sweaters. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't like sweaters. I, I like a sweatshirt. I like that with a zipper. I don't like the ones where you got to put it up over my head because then I, my everything starts popping <laughs> out and it gets all out of sorts. Yes. Devin made the picture. Oh, Devin! Devin! Thank you, Devin! Oh, that's great. Great, great, great. Oh, you know what? Maybe we'll try to put them up somewhere. That'd be cool. It could be a background. Or, you know, if I'm not feeling good about myself, I'll put them in front of me, and then you don't need to see what's going on. All right, so there we go. Hey, we did, we did our mail. We did our question of the day. So I think that means we'll pop back up to number one, and that means i got to remember the words to Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I, I sang it in the car. I know if people are ever driving next to me, I'm, I'm always singing and dancing in the car. I do a lot of that. So if you know the song, you can sing along. If not, you can just listen. That's okay, too. I'm sure all of my friends in the room are going to sing, too, right? Hey! All right, I got, I got one little thing. All right, so let me see. Uh, so we're going to sing Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Let me see. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Hey, am I starting it right? Yeah. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm just trying to make sure I'm not halfway through. Oh, yeah. So sorry about that. There we go. Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw it, you would even say it glows. All of the other reindeer, I don't know what to do with my hands, used to laugh and call him names. They never let poor oh, Rudolph, there we go, call back, join in any reindeer games. Then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Then all the reindeer loved him as they shouted out with glee. <laughs> Rudolph, there go the red-nosed reindeer. You'll go down in his story. Yay! There we go. I didn't mess it up. There we go. So there we go. And thanks uh, for uh, my friends in the background. You couldn't see. They were reminding me about the stuff I forgot already. I forget very, very quickly. <laughs> Oh, what in the what in the world? That means we're gonna get pumped with Nurse Riley. Let me put on my name. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, let me get. I'm gonna ditch that. 
All right, we'll need that. All uh, right, you guys. Ooh, let me do this too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, here we go. Let me empty my pockets. Here we go. Oh, yeah, ready. I'm gonna... There we go. There we go. Yeah. All right. We're getting home. I'm home. I'm totally ready. All right. Totes. That's what the kids All right, say. All right, my friends. So we're going to stand up, and we're going to do some exercise. Does anyone remember the sign language for exercise? We learned this a oh, couple weeks ago. We do this. Exercise. Good deal. Good job, friends. All right, so we're going to stand up and let's shake out our bodies. We'll start the same way. Let's shake, 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 shake them all out. Hands, feet, arms, legs. Beautiful. All right, my friends, so we are going to do something a little bit different today. Normally, we do some big movements that are sometimes really fast. So today, we're going to do some slow movements. Has anybody ever done yoga before? Oh, I've had frozen yoga. That's a different Frozen yoga? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yoga! Yoga! yoga. Oh! <laughs> Wait, isn't that like the child, the Mandalorian? Isn't that baby yoga? Baby Yoda? Yeah. Oh, Yoda! <laughs> that, oh, okay, there we go. Oh, yoga with a G sound. Yoga. Oh, now, now I'm taking yes. it. Off. Okay. Not Yoda. Oh, yeah, okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, friends, so we are going to do some yoga moves together. So we are going to start by stretching our bodies out. So we're going to put our arms all the way up. We're going to stand up on our tippy toes and stretch. And then we're going to bend all the way down and we're going to touch our toes. Let's bring it all the way back up. We're going to stand on our toes and stretch up our arms. And we're going to bend all the way down, touch our toes again. Let's do it a couple more times. We'll stand all the way up, stretch up on those toes. And we'll come all the way down. Reach for those toes. Let's do it once more. Nice and tall, all the way up. And we're going to stretch all the way down. All right, guys. Good job. So we are going to move into what's called a chair pose next. So we're going to make a chair with our bodies. Are you ready? I'm going to stand this way so you can see what I'm doing. We're going to bend our knees. We're going to push our butts back like we're going to sit right in a chair. Right, get ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. All right, you ready? So we're going to bend those knees. We're going to sit back and we're going to raise those arms up right here. A chair pose. Can we hold it for 10 seconds? We have nine. Eight. Taking some slow breaths. Miss Alyssa's doing it too. Five, you can't see. four, three, two, and one. Ah. Let's stand it back up. Good job, guys. That was a good. Oh, Miss Kristen's still Ms. doing Kristen's it. Miss Kristen's still going. She's a pro. You yeah, can't really? see her, but she's killing it back there. Yeah. All right. So we're building some strong legs with our chair pose, my friends. So next. We're gonna bring it down onto the floor and we're gonna do what's called a cobra pose. Oh, there we go. That's when uh, you lose your uh, insurance and then, <laughs> is that how that one works? Right, absolutely. That I think so, cool. oh, okay. Yeah. All right, so we're going to we'll talk to down. Julia. But Julia, if you're watching, comment. Let us know. Am I right with the cobra thing? I don't know. All right, friends. So we're going to lay right down on our stomachs. We'll find some room here. Make sure you have room. We're going to put our hands right down, right by our shoulders. And we're going to push those hands up. We're going to lift that chest right off the floor. Nice big stretch right here. Can we count to 10 right here? Do you have to, like... Have your tongue flaring out like a cobra too? I mean, you if you or? want to, absolutely. Oh, okay. Have the tongues going for sure. You have to trust me. I got the mask on. I'm <laughs> doing it. Let's take some big deep breaths right here. We'll breathe in and we'll breathe out. One more big breath in and out. All right. Let's lower it back down. You guys did beautiful. So right from here, we're gonna go into Downward. Nap time? Oh, no. Into nap time. Oh, here we go. Oh, no. What are we doing? Sorry, I'm, I'm interrupting. I'm always down for nap time. <laughs> We're going to go into a downward dog pose. So this one is very popular. You guys Ooh. might be familiar with this one. So right here, we're going to come up on our hands and knees. We're going to put those feet out behind us, and we're going to push. We're going to make a little triangle with our body. We're going to put those heads Mine's in between our arms. That's okay. Yeah, I'm trying. If you're having okay. trouble, my friends, we can bend our knees. 
make it a little bit easier. And we're right here in downward dog. Let's take some deep breaths right here. We'll breathe in and out. And one more, we'll breathe in and out. Awesome, guys. All right, let's bring it back down onto those knees. We're gonna end with a super restful pose. This one is called child's pose. So we're right here on our knees. This is for all of you guys, my children. <laughs> so we're right here on our knees. We're gonna put those arms right out in front of us and we're gonna sit back right on those heels and we're gonna lower right down. Heads are almost touching the floor. We'll keep our heads off the floor so we're not getting our mouths all gross. <laughs> But we're right here. Let's take some deep breaths. We'll breathe in and out. And one more. Breathe in and out. Awesome job, guys. Ooh, that was okay. relaxing. Good job. Well, thank you so much. Right. Right. Oh, what's up, yo, dog? There we go. Oh, I got up. That was good. Oh, now, did we get any uh, suggestions? Oh, we did. We did. Thank goodness. Okay. Well, otherwise, it was going to be a very short story. But uh, here we go. Let me, uh, I'll throw my face over there. Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, I almost forgot. Oh, I knew it made my face underwear. Uh, we've got our friend, Miss Alyssa, here for, uh, oh, what were we going to call it? I don't even know. I'm we'll call it something yet. different. <laughs> the sweater uh, uh, show off. Show off. The sweater show off for today. So let's say her about your sweater today. So, I had something different planned, but the Bills won, so... The Bills? Had to represent. Oh, there you go. First time this century. Oh, I am. So, I just wore a light gray sweater. It has pockets. Oh, how deep are those pockets? I can fit my whole hand. Here we go. That's good. And, and there's two, two pockets. There's two. Okay. And no buttons, though, it looks nope, like. No, it's a swing cardigan again. Oh, a swing cardigan. Yeah. Oh, so like you put the like you tie the the arms up in a tree and you can just kind of yeah, and you just jump in. There you go. Well, thank you for sharing. Wow, Anytime. I'm learning so much about fashion. Oh See my you tomorrow. Goodness. All right, there we go. So thank you, uh, uh, Miss Alyssa, for sharing that lovely sweater. All right, so now we'll get on to number three. Number three, where uh, we were trying to come up with a name. I think we called it Ben Libs. Like if you've ever. That's the sound that's playing in my head most of the time. Um, so Ben Libs, sort of, it's sort of like Mad Libs. Mad Libs is a game you might have seen where um, you don't know uh, what the story is going to be. And you write down all these funny words, and then you put them on the lines, and then you read the story. And it'll be like, you know, uh, I went to the store to buy a, a spatula. You go, ah, that was so funny. But uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take some of our suggestions. Oh, and Miss Kristen wrote them down. Oh, here we go. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so I'm going to use these words, and I'm going to tell a story. Let's see. We've got the word corn. Here, I'll come a little closer. Corn. Uh, water. Sleep. Chocolate milk. French fries. And burgers. Wait, are you sure this wasn't the menu? This looks like uh, you guys are getting hungry. It's almost lunchtime. So i got to use those words. Plus, steak some. Cheese balls, uh, that's what they, you know, oh, Ben, you and cheese ball, your jokes are so cheesy. Uh, North Dakota, oh, I knew a guy that uh, lived in North Dakota for a while. Michael, uh, if he's, if, uh, well, uh, hi, if you comment if you're watching. Uh, burping, oh, mama. Beach, life is a beach, there we go. Uh, grits and eggs, wow, this is going to be a, I may, maybe I have to have this at a, at a restaurant. Sitting. Games and Rudolph. Oh, Rudolph, that red nosed reindeer. There we go. All right, so I've got all of our, our words up here. Let me see. I'm going to put them up here. I'll move this over here. So, what I'll do, if I, if I use the word, I'll mark it off so that uh, it's keeping me honest here. So, let's see. So, I'm going to try to tell a story. Uh, using all of these words. Let's see if this was a, a fever dream or if it's, this was a good idea. All right, so let me see. Uh, once upon a time, that's a good way to start a story, there was uh, a bald guy named Mr. Ben, and uh, he was getting pretty hungry. 
you know, he went on a vacation out to uh, North Dakota, and uh, I, you know, he worked up a very big hunger playing all kinds of games. They weren't hunger games, but uh, he was playing games like uh, pin the tail on the donkey. Uh, 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 what, uh, what do you call that one with the the mat? Twister, Twister. There we go. So he was playing all kinds of games in North Dakota, and he got very hungry. Uh, so he decided that uh, he would he would uh, go to a restaurant. So he went to uh, he went to Rudolph's Cafe. Rudolph's Cafe, and he uh, he went in. He sat down, and uh, uh, let's see, there was uh, <coughs> uh, oh, uh, let's see, Miss Alessa. What was the name of the waitress? Beth. Beth. Oh, there we go. Hey, that what you looked upset about that Beth? That could be a good waitress name. And she said, she said, hi, hon, how you doing there, Shug? She she had a fun little accent there. So and I and I, I mean, Mr. Ben. This is a story about Mr. Ben. He said, uh, "Oh, I'm doing great. I was playing all kinds of games in North Dakota, you know, and I got really hungry." And she said, "Well, here, let me read you some of the specials here, Shug. We have uh, uh, grits and eggs. Uh, they're really good. Uh, we sprinkle some cheese balls on them too. It's something we do here in North Dakota. Uh, also, uh, we have a lovely corn soup." Uh, we, we skimp out and we make it with water. We don't use the cream if you uh, count your calories. Um, you, we could make you a steak sub. We have a half or a foot long there. And, uh, uh, and everything comes with uh, french fries or you can have chocolate milk to drink. And uh, oh, if you're really hungry, you can try one of our world famous burgers. They are actually, we put 12 burger patties up stacked together. If you can eat the whole thing in an hour, uh, then you can get it for free. And Mr. Ben, if you know Mr. Ben, he really likes burgers. And he said, absolutely, I'll take that. I want the burger. So, all right. So he sat down and he was waiting. He was really rubbing his hands together. He was, uh, he was, oh, he was getting so excited. He could, he could smell those burgers cooking. Oh my goodness, it was so great. So he was sitting there just waiting, waiting and waiting. And uh, he, he actually thought to himself, oh my goodness, this is so great. Oh, it's, it's almost like being at the beach. <laughs> there we go. So he was thinking about the beach, but then all of a sudden, Beth, the waitress, came back out and she was holding a big giant platter. The burgers were towering. They were heaped up on the plate. She slammed it down on the table. And then, and then the cook, uh, his, what was the cook's name, uh, Nurse Riley? Ooh, it was Arthur. Arthur the cook. Oh my goodness. Arthur came. He said, hey, everybody here at Rudolph's Cafe, we've got somebody who's going to take the big Rudolph challenge. Twelve burger patties in under an hour. If he can do it, he gets it for free and a free t-shirt, and we'll put his picture up on the wall. So, are you all ready? And everybody said... Yes! Yes! They were so excited. Oh my goodness, they were so excited. All right, so here, everybody, count with me. Ready? One, two, three. Then Mr. Ben started digging in. He got started. Oh my goodness, he was grabbing food. He took he took one whole burger patty, shoved it in his mouth. He was chewing. Uh, how many times did you chew, Nurse Riley? Thirty-two times before you swallow. Is that the the? Oh, I think like forty-five. Forty-five times. Oh my goodness, uh, we're not going to count that. Hyper. He was really chewing. He's chewing and swallowing. He's getting ketchup and mustard everywhere. There's a sesame seed that went in his eye. He had to get the sesame seed out of his eye. Oh my goodness, it was terrible. Ah, ah. But he was eating. He was eating. Oh my goodness, a half an hour went by, and he was only about halfway through. But he, oh, he started slowing down. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, he he wanted to go to sleep. It was making him so tired. Oh, but he he knew he didn't have enough money to pay for the burger. The burger was very expensive, so he knew he had to finish the burger. So he keeps eating. Oh my goodness, there's oh, and then there were only five minutes left. Oh my goodness, oh, he kept eating. Oh, just crumbs. Oh, his shirt. The buttons were about to pop off of his shirt because he was eating so much food. Oh my goodness! But he trained his whole life for this. He knew he could do it. It got down to the last, the last ten seconds. It was here. Everybody, count for me. So there was ten. Oh no! Oh, oh keep going, keep going. Oh, 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 oh he can't do it. He's gonna try to finish it. Five, four, three. Uh, ah, I did it! I did it! Oh my goodness! And everyone stood up and they cheered! Yeah! Oh my goodness! Oh, oh, but then all of a sudden, Mr. Ben started burping! Oh, burp sounds! I don't know how to do a burp sound. But he was burping, oh my goodness! And then he collapsed, 
Everybody cheered for him. They brought out a t-shirt. They just threw it over him because nobody wanted to see what was going on. And uh, <laughs> when he woke up, he realized it was all a dream. Whoa, is that how Lost ended? I didn't finish Lost. But there we go. So there's the story of Mr. Ben. Uh, there we go. Oh, my goodness. Oh, so thank you for the ideas. So here's some of the folks that wrote in some of their ideas. Uh, Miss Ashley, Mr. Rob. Oh, is it Kiari? There we go. I'm, I want to make sure I'm saying names right. Uh, 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 Chango. There we go, Chango. Atai, Amari, and Nathan. All right, kiss your brains uh, for the wonderful suggestions. I hope the story wasn't too silly, or I hope it was maybe too silly. But thank you so much for those ideas. If we like that, maybe we'll do it again another time. So there we go. I think that'll cover everything on the list. Was that everything? I'm getting the thumbs up from uh, Miss Marissa, the producer. So there we go. Thanks for, uh, we, we sang our song. We, uh, we did some exercises today. We got pumped. We told a little story. Uh, yeah, used our imaginations. That was good. And uh, learned some cool sign language. Saw some pictures. It was fantastic. I had so much fun. I hope you had so much fun, too. So uh, I suppose all that's left is to sing goodbye to you. And uh, we'll, see you, we'll see you tomorrow. Let me see. Uh, uh, let me see. Uh, ooh, I always forget what my goodbye song is. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, hello, I must be going. I cannot stay. I came to say I must be going. I'm glad I came, but just the same, I must be going. I'll stay a week or two. I'll stay the summer through. But I am telling you, I must be going. Bye, everybody. Have a good rest of your day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.